G'day guys, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz and today I'm going to tell you a little aquarium story. What could it be you reckon? Let's find out. So once upon a time in an aquarium that I own I had a royal whiptail that was sucking on the slime coat of one of my parrotfish. This went on for a couple of days. It frustrated the heck out of me. I could see it was distracting the parrotfish. Um, it was actually causing quite a bit of damage to the parrotfish and I just could not work out what to do. I jumped on Facebook, I jumped on forums, I Google searched it. I had a bit of useful results. Um, I was feeding all sorts. I physically watched the um the whiptail eat multiple times but the little bugger just would not stop sucking on the slime coat of my parrotfish and just quietly try saying sucking on the slime coat of my parrotfish really quickly because it was a bit of a tongue twister then so a few days came and went and the weekend came along I thought to myself I've got a bit of time I'm gonna make up some rapashi feed out some rapashi through to my aquariums before I go any further in the story, I promise you this is not an infomercial or anything like that. But if you would like to buy some, you can buy it at www.fishroom.co.nz. Anyway, so I made it up, let it sit, and then I fed up my tank. This one right here behind me, which had the offending whip tail in it. I watched the Apache hit the ground, I watched the whip tails eat it. Excellent, good as gold. Everyone's feeding, that's fine. And I walked away. Do -do 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 walked away. So come the evening time, I fed some more apashi. Because you see, I had plenty. Because I make plenty because I've got a lot of fish to feed. So I walked through like normal. And I just fed my apashi out like normal. And the fish did exactly what they're doing now. Chomp, 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 chomp. So come the next day, I fed some more apashi. Again, I had plenty. I make up a good sized batch of it, normally gets me through three or four days. No drama. So I fed it again in the morning. So it's now evening time, and you guessed it, I fed some more apashi. So this is now four feeds of apashi in two days. I normally feed my tanks a couple times a day, so it's not an unusual amount that I was feeding, just a completely different food that I was feeding. So day two, feed four in, in the evening of that, something seemed a little bit different. The difference was, the dirty old Wurra Whiptail was not sucking the slime off the parrotfish. Hmm, that's a little bit different, I think, to myself. What have I changed? The only thing that I changed in the entire two days, or leading into those two days, was feeding some Rapashi and not some dry pellet food. Or blood worms, or flake food, or food shrimp pellets or anything else literally the only difference was that i fed some rapashi for a couple of days so i fed it out for another couple of days got rid of it all and over that four day period the whip tail did not touch a single parrot fish in that time so after a couple more feeds of the rapashi the royal whip tail completely stopped sucking back on the uh, parrot fish altogether uh, so I took the parrotfish out and chucked in another treatment uh, tank because I noticed it was actually beginning to get quite affected by its slime coat being sucked off. Um, put them back in and then all of a sudden, nothing at all. So I'm making sure that I feed Rapashi relatively regularly to try and help uh, my basically my parrotfish not being um, sucked to death by the royal whiptail. So if you, like me, have had trouble with your whiptails or even other plecos sucking the slime coat off your fish, I'd highly recommend giving a go at having some of the Rapashi into their diet. It's definitely helped me and it's coming from 100% my own personal experience. So if it's going to help me, there's a good chance it could help you as well. I'm not going to say it's going to, but that's from the conclusion that I've drawn is that the Rapashi absolutely helps my whip tail stop eating my slime plate off my parrotfish. Right, that draws us to the end. I hope you enjoyed it and please take note of, of what I've said. Have a good one, happy fish keeping and catch you later.